Ladies and gentlemen, 52 Super Luigi here, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with 52 Super Luigi. So today, last time, we made something very simple and healthy. Now this time we're going to make something very simple and unhealthy. So let's get to it, but it's really delicious. Alright, so we're going to start with, so first of all, it's called Ice Cream Cookie Blast. It's something I came up with, it's not an actual name. But the reason what it is, you're gonna get Oreos, you're gonna get oatmeal cookies from Stop and Shop. Only theirs, because it's the right ones. Same thing with uh, the chocolate chips. You're gonna get the Stop and Shop chocolate chips as well in this type of container. All right, so next, you want a bowl. All right. And then you can use, I use vanilla ice cream, but you can use chocolate if you prefer chocolate. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is make sure you have everything to get. So we got our chocolate chips. You're not using all of these. So what you're gonna do is, you're first you're gonna open the Stop and Shop chocolate chips, the big ones. You're gonna take pain in the ass to open, but the reason why I say the Stop and Shop ones is because they're really soft and easy to break up. And they're delicious as fuck. But mostly because they're really soft and easy to mix and shit. So, you're gonna grab two chocolate chips, then you're gonna go into the other one and grab two oatmeals. Put them with those. Then you're gonna put these shits away. Because you're done with them. You only need two each. I mean, if you wanna add more, you can, but just remember we're adding more stuff. So you don't wanna get too crazy. I mean, unless you want to, it's up to you. But this is how I do it. Alright, so you take two chocolate tip, two oatmeals, the cookies there. Get a little paper towel, put them on there, put them to the side. Alright, now what we're gonna do next. It is well the Oreos. Alright. So with Oreos, you're gonna take I should have to show you Oreos. It could be as long as it's the classic Oreos you find. You can get them pretty much anywhere. So you're gonna grab uh six of these. You're gonna grab six Oreos. Alright. Six. Six Oreos. Alright. Next is the smashing part. So what we're going to do next is get the blender. <laughs> Alright, so here's the blender. See? So what you're going to do is, it could be any, any blender. You know, blenders are good at blending out a, a lot of shit. So, got to put it on. So, now what you're going to do is, first, so by the way, if I wasn't clear, this isn't an ice cream, this is a shake. A ice, it's an ice cream shake. So you're going to need milk too. But what you're going to do is, and you're not doing the crunching, this is going to do all the crushing for you. So that's another reason why you only put a certain amount, because if you put too much, you can fuck your blender up. But I'll be right back. You're going to get the ice cream. So, Ah, and the milk. So I'm gonna get the ice cream, and I'm gonna get the milk. Alright, so I got vanilla ice cream. It's on the other side too, I'm an idiot. Um, and you got the milk, alright? So, first you're gonna put ice cream in there. So, you're gonna open up the ice cream. Okay, I don't know. You're gonna get the ice cream scoop. Uh, ice cream scoop, guys, not fucking... Alright, so you take four of these type of scoops. So, man, I might actually need more than that. I'll see. But take four of these. Actually, no, four should be plenty. You're going to take... Uh, maybe even three will be fine. Because I'm not trying to... Because this is for, like, one person. So I'm not trying to make it a, a little too crazy there. But four spoons... Four tablespoons. I mean, four ice cream scoops. 
God damn it. All right, now you're gonna add the Oreos. You can crush them like this a little bit. Okay. Make sure you put the milk in before you mix the shit up. Otherwise, it's gonna be terrible. All right, and now you take the cookies. Chocolate chip. Ooh. All right, rip them up a little bit. Make it easier for the blender. All right, and now you're gonna put milk in that bitch. Hey. And you wanna fill it up to about, say, right about there? Might need more than that, actually. You wanna fill it up to about a little more than halfway. That way it could get a good blend and the milk's gonna help it mush the shit around. Now you put it on and you put it on hot. And after a couple seconds of blending, it should be fine. What you're gonna do to make sure that it's uh, all crunched up, you're gonna take a little spoon in there. Oh yeah, that crushed up really good actually. Mm. Now, the best part is you can taste the oatmeal. The oatmeal you taste the most, but you can taste a little bit of chocolate chip and a little bit of Oreo. You can barely taste the milk and vanilla because the cookies flavors are very powerful, but it is really good and not healthy. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. But that's how it should look. And we're going to pour it in the milk. Or and we're going to pour it in a cup. And And as you can see, it's all crunched up. Shit. Dripping down. So that is it in the cup. And that right there is how you make cookie blast. Good shit. You take six Oreos, like I showed you earlier, six Oreos, two stop and shop chocolate chip cookies and two stop and shop oatmeal cookies. Crush them up, put them in there with vanilla or chocolate ice cream. It's better with vanilla and it's required with vanilla. This is something I made and it's really good, guys. Like. Some of y'all niggas probably like, ew, that's nasty mixing Oreos and oatmeal, but it tastes really good together. You'd be surprised. It's really good. Mm. So try it out at home. I hope you guys enjoyed. Fit two super easy out. <laughs>